Today I'm gonna be doing or maybe I'm not. This isn't working out as well as I thought it would. We're gonna start here in the kitchen and we're gonna move once I cook this. Hey what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm gonna be doing the 23 things I learned at 23. I'm preheating the oven and I'm gonna be making this organic confetti cake mix. I already set up my ingredients. This is kind of a lot. Number one is to learn to be rejected. Naturally, nobody likes to be rejected, whether it's jobs with other people or just in life. And it takes some time to get used to. Number two is it's better to receive criticism than to be told that you're good at something. So this one was kind of hard for me. I don't know why I did this. This is really bad. It took me a really long time for me to even accept criticism because I'm not like one to take it well. I'm not always like a perfectionist, but sometimes I can be. So being told that I did something wrong is sometimes like a little bit annoying to me. Being in my first nursing job, there's a lot of criticism that I received. And I used to get so like, anxious over it, but now I'd rather them tell me that I'm wrong than them not say anything at all. I think I'm just gonna eyeball it and see how this goes. And number three, going along with that is, I learned that even though I think I know a lot, and I thought that I knew a lot when I was in nursing school, I really don't know anything at all. I hope this doesn't turn out bad. I feel like that was way too much water. Like this doesn't look like the way it looks. Oh gosh, leave it up to me to mess up this cake. Okay, so number four is the fact that I learned that I don't know how to cook. And it's important too because instances like this. We're gonna put this in the oven and then hopefully this turns out okay because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be really upset. Set a timer for 30 minutes. It says 30 minutes for the pan. We have the timer set. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but I am gonna prop my camera a little bit higher. Okay. It's probably as good as it's gonna get. On to point number five. Oh my god, I love frosting. This is the rainbow chip, and it like just matched the funfetti. That's why I wanted to get it. Like 23, and I'm like still trying to like the frosting. So number five is venture out into something new. For me this year, that was going into core power yoga. Um, if you, I'm gonna link my video below but I feel like that's the real thing that I was always too scared to try, but I ended up trying this year and look how far I've come. Number six is to be grateful. I think especially during this time of quarantine, um, it's given me a lot of time to reflect on the things that are going on and the things that we easily took for granted, like going to the gym or just going out in public even without a mask, hanging out with friends, getting to eat out. And spending time with people that's the thing I took for granted and I wish I didn't because now here we are number seven is to write it out and I don't mean necessarily to physically write it out I will write it into my phone and usually that works out just fine for me um, but write it out somewhere whether it's your phone on actual paper just write it down because otherwise you're more than likely not going to remember it because that's happened to me so, so many times. Number eight is one person's success does not take away from your own. I don't know if it's weird because it's organic or it's because the fact that I cooked it wrong. Number nine is super important. It's not what you know, it's who you know. The fact that I was looking for a job last year and it really is who you know, not what you know. Wait, this is so cute. 
way too excited about this crap. Yeah, so back to my point number nine. It's always important to be nice to everyone and to always like try to look somewhat presentable in public because you never know who you're gonna run into because networking is so important nowadays because every market is seemingly so saturated that it's like not even who what you know anymore it's who you know which is crazy number 10 was to make content that I actually care about. I used to try and make content that would please everyone. Now that I'm like older, I'm just like, people are gonna judge you anyway, so you might as well just do whatever you fucking feel like. Number 11 is probably one of the most important points, and it should have been like my number one point because people probably stopped watching by now, but number 11 is to form strong habits. I think the older you get, the more you'll realize how important this point is just based off of why does this not look that cute? Is it because I have to like frost it twice? Like I don't understand. I think it's because it's not cold. And I should have cooled it down, but Forming strong habits, like forming morning routines, I think that's why I got so obsessed with morning routines is because forming those strong habits will pull you through, especially when times get really tough and it's hard for you to find motivation. Those habits will continue to stay versus like times where you are solely dependent on motivation alone. Number 12 is investing. So this is so adulty. Learn to invest my money, you know, will grow money versus just buying things. I think that's the difference between someone who is financially literate and someone who isn't. Did you do the doggy? No. Continuing with the financial points, my 13th point is probably, oh, I don't like that. My 13th point is to always pay off your credit cards on time. Number 14, a trick that I learned was to, if you really want something, think about it for six months, and if you still want it after six months, then go buy it. Number 15, it's super important but generic at the same time, it's to cut out toxic people in your life. If there's someone that you know that is constantly talking shit about other people and that bothers you, you don't have to necessarily um, deal with that attitude. Either tell them, straight up or cut those people out of your life because you are the the sum of the five people you hang out with most 16 is when you get stressed out like i do always bring it back to basics so think about basics like have you drink water have you eaten and have you slept those are basic things that you need to be alive if you don't have those three things that could be what's triggering your stress. Number 17, take days off. It's hard for me, for my personality to take days off, but it's important too. 18, it's okay to sometimes not know what you're doing. So for me, I always like to be like a step ahead and it was hard for me to deal with the fact that I didn't know what I wanted to do after my BSN. So I'm 23 now. And it's okay that I don't know what I want. Number 19 is to say yes to more things. Very antisocial, so sometimes it's kind of hard for me to actually go out and venture into something new. Sometimes I don't always want to go out and hang out. I'm kind of sad that I didn't go on that last um, dinner game night that we had right before we all went into quarantine. Number 20 is that it's worth it to go out and buy experiences like festivals. I never regret buying festival tickets, but I do regret buying items because items are just items and experiences are so much more like memories. Number 21 is to invest in a coffee machine. I drink a lot of caffeine because I am on night shift and I didn't realize how much money I was spending on coffee until I tallied up my bills and it's way worth it to just make your own coffee. <laughs> Number 22 is to keep learning. Knowledge is something that no one can really take away from you so continue to learn every single day. 
And number three is my most cliche moment ever, and it's just to live in the moment. I think we are constantly thinking of what we're doing next, and it's hard for us to focus sometimes on the present. So cherish the moments that we have and continue to live in the moment. as well as I thought it would. Okay, my cake looks like a Rice Krispie treat, so let's find out if it actually tastes good. It's not bad. That's my 23 things I learned at 23 years old. It's actually not as terrible as I thought it would be. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow my social media. I'm gonna link that right here. And I will see you guys in the next video.